Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Space Engineers, and holy crap, I have no clue what happened here. Um, we're gonna get our butt handed to us, aren't we, a bit? Holy crap! This is like World War III right now. Woo! Aha, uh -huh, nothing hit me, thankfully. Oh, man. I loaded into the game I had saved when these guys were around, but I guess they kind of multiplied or something off camera. I have no clue what happened. Holy. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting fight, that's for sure. We got a lot of work cut out for us. Oh, that base looks even more bigger than normal. Holy. Wow, we were going to have some uh, difficulties, I guess. But we'll, we'll give it a try, my friends. We'll see what we can come up with. That guy looks different. Maybe not. Oh, we're not having... Oh, crap! Oh! Did my shields hold up for that? Yeah. Woo! Thankfully for shields, yo. I said yo again. Why do I say that lately? Crap. These are armored. Or that one's armored. Oh, get to the side. Don't let me get hit by that. Okay, we are out of our league apparently here. These guys are armored to the teeth. Holy crap. We uh, we got... I felt like we lost there, but maybe we didn't. I felt like something happened badly, but maybe it was a power issue. Actually, that's what it was, I think. It was a power issue because I noticed something weird happened, but it must have just been the power fluctuating, thankfully. Uh, for our uh, re our shields to kick back in. Those guys were uh, those guys were interesting, I have to say. So this is a heavy one, it looks like, which is something new. Oh yeah, that that looks like a badass. I shot it over and over with the missiles, and it felt like it was going nowhere either. How is our uh, six, I guess? Oh, there you go. I'm hoping we're safe enough right now. I want to... Uh, I always like ammo, right? So I thought maybe I'd go over here and grab this. Is that a cargo container? Oh yeah, there you go. Nothing in there. Is that another cargo container or a reactor? No, it's a cargo. That's a conveyor. What the? This has that many reactors in it? What the heck? Oh, there you go. I think we broke the one reactor, to be honest, before. Oh crap, and I had restored the one. Oh, and I can't get that one restored now. We could always take it out. This is kind of fun stealing their, uh, their materials. How did my ship last? Oh, there it is. Oh no, we did take some damage, it looks like. Is that a reactor leak? I didn't think we took some damage, but maybe we... Well, we must have. There you go. Oh crap, the inventory's full on that thing already. Oh well. Well, at least that thing's gone. Uh, okay, so, uh, let's be smart here and uh, check this place out. <laughs> Remember I said let's be smart, right? So That doesn't seem like a smart idea. Shields are up, so Woo Eventually we're gonna just gonna have to make a, a super fast, you know, larger sh fighting ship, I think, for shield wise. Because a small one versus a large one is the same, right? 
Um, the problem in Space Engineers is it seems like everything has hacks uh, for aiming, like aiming hacks, we'll call it. So a small ship, sometimes you think, well, yeah, you could dodge them a bit more, but I feel like maybe missiles, but not so much everything else. Uh-oh. That one looks like it's coming for us, too. Is that a second, third one? What is all that at that base? Wow, that's a big base. Yeah, this, whatever this is, is coming after us. It looks like it's solar-based. I'm not sure, though. It's hard to do this because it steers too fast. I don't know what that is, but you're gone now, so... I didn't want to deal with the chance of it kicking my ass or having bad turrets. There you go. That is awesome, the debris just floating like that. <laughs> okay, so this guy, yeah, this guy's a badass of some sorts here. We just gotta figure out how badass. Maybe we can snipe them like we did before. We did such an amazing job before on that. Oh crap, we're not slowing down much. Okay, go right, go right, go right. You're gonna hit them, so you're gonna have to veer off of them a bit. Or you're gonna get owned. You're gonna get shredded this close. You're a noob. This is not good for us. See what I mean? Sideways like this, and they're just pulverizing me still. Ooh. Okay, looks like we got in a safe spot here. So, we have to figure out what we can do here. Um, there's the turrets. There's turrets under and above. So, we have to figure out what we can do about the turrets. Looks like they are hitting. I wonder if I can get a little closer though. It's probably a bad idea. My problem is I can't... I moved to... Oh darn, my keyboard was fine too. Or my mouse pad. I was like, was my mouse pad off? I can't hit them that well. There you go. Something like that. There you go. We're just playing this safe, so we're sniping it all. Nice. Okay, we got those guys done. And then we're going to go under a bit. There you go. Yeah, the Gatling gun does really good damage. It shreds everything, so... If you can get it to hit it, it is awesome. There we go. Okay. Well, crap. We can move in closer now, I guess. See what we're dealing with. Is there a second bank of turrets anywhere? That's what I worry about more than anything. Now I realize one thing that we have to worry about, and we'll get close and worry about when we get there, is the antenna can call reinforcements. Oh no, this is not good for us. No, it's slowing down. I guess we would have been able to dodge it probably anyways. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, that's the antenna. I thought something spawned on top of me. It's like, oh, well, we're doomed. Uh... There you go. Use this antenna to communicate with <laughs> if we want. Okay, so uh, we've done this. Uh, now it's all about, well, we better bring our ship in closer. We better be careful because we don't want to shred this because if there's a turret here, you know. Okay, so what we're going to do is... And we're going to 
shred this up a bit. Actually, no, we can do it remotely. Okay, so... Wish me luck here. Um... There's two sets of doors. That is... Oh crap. There we go. How are we? Okay, we're fine. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of smoke effects, but... We'll go with whatever. Crap! Was there a second turret inside? That's the only thing I could think of, but I didn't see a second one. I don't think there's a second turret in there. Ow. Do you think it's shooting me through the wall then? I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. That's a problem then. Ow! If it shoots us. Uh oh. Oh, I think my landing gear kicked in. Let's see if we can do this again without it shooting. It's doing it again. It's shooting us through it, I think. Darn it. Um. Frig, I don't want to uh, destroy the base in any way. But if it's going to shoot me through it. It's going to uh, kill me if I try to get out, right? So, but the last thing I want to do is ruin the ship or ruin the base too much. It looks like a sweet base, so. How, how sweet is it? Oh yeah, look at that, there it is, the turret. It's probably doing everything to me. What about their power? Must have a decent uh, power supply right now. I'm thinking one actually reactor maybe to supply everything it's doing. It's hard to tell from here. I'm thinking over on that wall over there, but I'm not sure. I like how they're so close to the ore field there. That's kind of cool. Get worried there's like a hidden turret here. Well, if it's safe, let's get out and take a look. It's harder to see through here than it was through the other thing. Damn it. Are those turret or reactors? No, maybe. No, they're upgrades, I think, for the... Hmm. Oh crap, they have battery pack up too. Hmm. Well, might have to go to plan B. Smash up the doors and hope we don't destroy it all. <laughs> we could also try to see what happens if I get close, but it doesn't look good to be honest. It looks like it's it's shooting through and it shouldn't, but it is. We could always try myself, see what happens. Maybe it doesn't see me here? That was a bad idea. Oh crap. Didn't realize how much it just opened it up. There you go. Okay. This is going to cause some damage, but we have to do what we got to do, right, my friends? Um, I 
crap, you don't even get much of a aim here. That was a little to the top for her to me. I actually didn't do much damage. Okay. There we go. We got in. Without destroying my ship. There you go. And then we can go uh, here again. And then uh, outer doors close. Inner doors close. There you go. So, funny enough, we're fine. Um, though it looked like we took damage, but I don't think we actually did. I think the shields held. I don't know why there was... could be just a little bit of a glitch, but it was showing us we got a reactor leg. I guess in a sense we probably would have lost a reactor if this was uh, a real place, right? But I guess we're okay. I know these timer blocks are kind of useless for us, but it's like, eh, whatever. Oh. This is a pretty nice little base here couple assemblers and uh, you can upgrade some of them actually it's through a conveyor system you can upgrade them all if you wanted to that's nice what's the refinery look like um, funny thing is I've yet to see a refinery maybe it doesn't have one that would suck private TV pirate TV sorry I said private, I'm like, private TV? What the heck? Pirate TV makes a little more sense. This is pretty cool. Did we get these? I forget now. I feel like we didn't, but... This is the programming block. Is there more than one, or just one, I guess? There you go. Got most of it anyways, or a big chunk of it, I should say. It's a really cool station, though. Okay, so what are we looking at cargo-wise? Never even looked at them yet. Um, holy crap! It's got some cargo on it, that's for sure. Uh, wow, a lot of cargo on it. Holy! So, it's got 257,000 volume inside of this cargo container. What the heck? And then the other one has 183,000. That's 9.5 thousand rounds of the thing. 500 missiles. 500 explosives. Wow, this is... Oh, look at all the interior turrets, how much they had. Wow, so we definitely hit the jackpot here. This is definitely a good, uh, a good one. Um, now the question is, can we get it home? Uh, good luck. I don't know how we could even consider getting it there. Uh, we'd have to fly it back, I guess. Uh, could this move it at all, I wonder? Um, probably not, but worth a try, I guess, for fun. I'm trying to see the... Oh, there it is. Ah. There you go. Let's see. That's not moving anywhere. What's the weight on this ship? What? That's only the mass of my ship. Oh, you know what? This might be so old style, it's somehow locked in space. I don't know for sure, but it could be locked. I don't know. I know I had thrusters, but maybe it's considered a, a station, like one of those locked ones. I didn't think they did that anymore, but... Huh. 
So you have to convert it to a ship, huh? I think I just will regret all this, but we'll see. Is this grid mass is 5 mil? Okay, this is as big as that other ship, isn't it? Oh yeah, we can't do this. But, it has thrusters and we just unlocked them, so... That is something. Um, now we gotta figure out how to get this uh, out of here. Pretty much, I would say... Uh, do the thrusters even say forward, backwards, anything like that, or...? Um, control panel. No, they don't. So you, ha you have the control over that, I guess. Uh, so let's say, um, production. Yeah, let's go and make a cockpit here. Or, uh, sorry, a chair here. Control station. And, uh, we can put it even here. So we can at least view out this window for fun if you want to. Funny enough, I can't... Oh, because the thing's there. There's a... Okay. What about the lounge? It, it looked like this was actually made for it more than anything. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, and not that one. Not that one because it requires more resources, right? Um, do the scroll wheel, and this is the... The cheaper edition, basically. So we need computers and two displays. We just dump our resources in here. Is this display? Nope, that's display. I don't know how many we needed, but that should do it. There we go. I would do a remote, but the last time I attempted this, it just wouldn't work at all. No matter what I did, uh, it just would not let me install a remote control. I guess I could attempt to do it again. That's a m million kilograms of iron in there. 50,000. That's crazy. Uh, let's, let's do it anyway. So might as well give it a try again. But like I said last time it just wouldn't work. So, um, There you go. Two little plates needed. wonder if we have interior plate and like a million other things. I don't know what you want, to be honest. Just putting random stuff in here now. <laughs> okay, so the last time I did this... Um, sorry. Uh, J... Why... Oh, I can't breathe in here. <sighs> why are you being a noob, Kane? Oh, this... Wait, how do I... I don't know. Inventory, there you go. Uh... Yeah, there's the remote, right? But the last time I did this, it was off like that. And no matter what I did, it did not work. Uh, pretty sure it's not going to work again, but we'll see. No, it's dark. It, it's got to do something with, like, they owned it, and now I own it. And even then, it doesn't seem to work, and you turn everything on and off. I had grinded down every single thing, basically, of theirs before and converted it. Just no luck, unfortunately. Um, it just, no matter what I did, uh, it did not work. I know there's a few things I still don't own, but it won't work that way. Um, I think it's pointless to even attempt to. But we own this big-ass saucer thing now, so we could always send this uh, home and then you know, see how that goes. There was also one more base that, you know, oh, there's this commercial freighter. Oh, you know what? This is our home base and we're going to protect it for now. We need to go and figure out what that is. Uh, helmet's on, right? You know, we should turn this oxygen off. No point. Uh, air vents. Access denied, of course. I was going to say it's pointless to keep these air vents working because why, you know. Ah, whatever. Anyways. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. There you go. Sir, 
assume so, right there. There you go. So let's call... Well, this one's already beaconing anyway, so I don't think we have to worry about it. Um, let's make sure it's going out far, though. So, control panel... There you go. Let's just do that. How much, uh, what were we looking at, by the way, for uh, time? We are looking at three hours. What the hell? You're telling me all these things have, like, no fuel to begin with? It's like, yeah, when we could have we could have AFK overnight and just let it power itself down, basically, with the those kind of stats. So here's the reactors, by the way, which we didn't see. No, this is not making sense. This thing is causing us problems, I think. That should have fixed it, probably. It's always those batteries. I think they start with nothing in them. I think that's the thing. Yeah, two days now. That makes more sense. I want to fix that, though, if I can. I just feel bad not being able to. Oh, yeah, it gives me lots of power cells. There you go. It's too bad there's not a way to take it over. There's a hacking computer thing. I should look it up. It's a mod, but it's decent, and it might make this kind of stuff a little more enjoyable to hack it so you don't have to sit here going around and taking everything. But I heard there was some major glitches, too, at it with it. So... It's a up and down thing, but hey, it doesn't matter. We could try it out. Um, so J. No. J. Oh P. Sorry. There you go. Flip this around. And then for its own safety, even though it has no working turrets, we'll still seal it up because that way at least. Uh, we can uh, somewhat protect it. So there's that freighter here, right? Commercial freighter, yeah. I think at this point it's probably good. It's time to save. We were lucky. I think we're at 27. I'm on the wrong page to see. Yeah. Okay, so let's check this guy out. Commercial freighter sounds cool because it sounds like it won't have a bunch of mines waiting to blow up the second you slow it down <laughs> oh you know what time wise that's it i'm gonna be a jerk and leave it at that so thank you guys and girls so much for watching i hope you enjoy this please don't forget to subscribe comment like we'll see you wonderful people next time